What's up everybody? It's me, Miss T, and thanks for checking out the Answer Key TV. Tonight we are in for another finger licking good meal. Mmm, this particular seafood boil mug bang -yang is everything. This mug bang includes some of our staples, shrimps and snow crab legs. Miss B loves sauce, eggs, and I think that's all, yes, our soup. I almost put something else on here, but <laughs> I wanted to include some soup again. That was a delightful addition, if I may say so myself. So I hope you enjoyed that video. If you haven't seen it, I will leave it at the end of this video and you can go check it out. Now, if you are new here, welcome, welcome, welcome. And if you're already a part of the Answer Key family, welcome back. Now, I think we're good. I think we know what we're having. So let's go ahead and dive into this food. I'm excited. My soup is back, y'all. Mm-hmm, mm-hmm, mm-hmm. We got to crush them a little bit. Oh my goodness. Yes. Let's sit this off to the side. We might need to get back to that. Just in case we do, we don't want it too far, so we'll leave that there. We still have ourselves some elbow room. Oh, where do we start? I think I want to taste some soup. Oh. I love, love, love a good fall soup. Mm. Mm -hmm. But any time of year, sometime, mm. I just have a hankering for <laughs> some quick dumpling soup and it is so good. And I add my little tidbits to it. Mm. It's delicious. We have some green onion in here and mushroom. Mm. The mushrooms give us so much flavor. Of course, we have our dumplings. Oh, look at that. Mm. Mm. The middle's a little hot. <laughs> okay. Mm. Mm-hmm. And I always add my season. Mm. Y'all get me out the soup. <laughs> no more. We have to get to the seafood part of the seafood boil, okay? Start with some shrimp. Oh, check out that shrimp. Hmm? Nice. Mm. So good. So, how are you? I hope this video finds you doing well. Feeling good. Mm. Healthy and happy. Give me a shoulder shimmy. Mm. 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 I'm excited. <laughs> if you're going to tell, I'm thoroughly excited. 
these eggs got beat up. Now, let me explain. <laughs> Cause I, don't, I don't know if you guys can see some of these imperfections. It, look, I have had all sorts of tips and tricks told to me. Sometimes they work, sometimes they do not. Mmm. Mm-hmm. I thought I had one of them down pat, like I really did. So I called myself being a multitasker and boil my eggs and decided to do a bunch of other things in the meantime, in between time. No harm, no foul. And why? Of course, because in my mind, I did the little vinegar trick. Now, for those of you who have missed that video, I have tried and been told about a lot of tricks that make life just a little bit easier when you're doing things. And some of my family might swear by these things. Now, it is 100% impossibility that I'm just doing it wrong. I do not remove that from the table at all. However, <laughs> on this particular occasion, I put the vinegar in there. Thought I was good. You were not good. Those eggs were like, where, where exactly are you trying to? <laughs> they were not having it today. Oh, absolutely not. It fell apart. Darn, I tried, you guys. It's a nice little drip. Mm. Oh, see? Oh, threads are no joke. So anyway, what was I saying? Oh, I did the vinegar thing, thinking, you know, that was gonna buy me a significant amount of time. It did not. Now, I don't know if maybe you only have a certain amount of time before it Stops working. Nice little piece of egg there. Mmm. Mmm. -hmm. Mmm. 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 already. That's okay. I don't know if that's the case. If it's like, okay, you, if you peel your eggs right away, they are going to just. Oh, that's a nice little jump out and grab you a piece of meat. Mm. Mm hmm. Oh, okay. A little something. Mm. I went ham on this batch with the old bag. <laughs> I was not playing with the old bay. Whoa. It's actually giving them a little bit of a kick here. There's so much of it. What was that thing? Oh, okay. So the eggs, right? So boom. I put the vinegar in there. Walk away, go do this, this, and third. Okay. I come back. I'm thinking this is going to be easy peasy. No, ma'am. <laughs> it was.
was the exact opposite of that. That little tiny piece. All that shell for nothing. All that shell for shell. <laughs> so I was like, wait a minute. The trick didn't work. So I struggled with these eggs. That's why one is hidden like back here. This one was cuter. So I don't to get a little bit of shine, but I'm falling apart and everything. This is a lot. But it's still going to be good, though. <laughs> That's okay. I think what may have happened is that either A, I didn't put enough vinegar in there. That's always possible. I didn't get an exact amount. You know, some people, older people in particular, <laughs> they're like, just, just, don't feel right. Well, I don't know what that is supposed to feel like. <laughs> trying something for the first time now several times I've done this and it was fine but again second thing I think I may have just waited too long um, no matter how much vinegar I would have put in there after a certain amount of time it's just not going to work and it's going to back together I'm guessing I, I don't know anyway I say all that to say excuse my raggedy eggs <laughs> okay I'm gonna try to have them look better more presentable next time oh let's try another shrimp oh I need to get back to my soup I don't want it to get cold not that it would because it was piping hot I know you see me blowing this sometime and other times I'm right in. The thing is, I have like little flashbacks of burning my tongue. Check out that trippy trip. <laughs> That's why. Mm -hmm. well, just to be on the safe side, even if I've already dipped in there. I'll be like, let me blow it one more time for good measure. But anywho, the thing is, too, this sauce is good. Well, because it's thick. Mmm. It's so good. <laughs> yes. Mm, 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 mm. This has become my favorite combination. My soup and my seafood is everything. The pickles are good too. The pickles are good. They're very refreshing. But I think like they just give me more of a summer vibe. Mm. The flavor combination is great. This is a flavor cucumber. That's all. Mm. And these pickles are from Jimmy John's. <laughs> Their pickles are so good. I'm trying to get a piece of onion, but this pickle is slippery. Oh, okay. Mm, mm, mm. So, anyway, I'm super excited to tell you about the story I mentioned in the last video. I almost forgot. Not the last video. Maybe a few videos ago. But if you haven't seen it, 
I'll cut you up. I was alluding to how sometimes you don't even know if somebody's watching and we can all just constantly or as constantly as we can. We can't constantly because look what happened to Ellen. People really came from this Ellen. <laughs> I was like, whoa. They were like, no, sis. This is not okay. Like, this hasn't been okay. We're not okay. You're not, you're definitely not okay. It was, oh, it was a lot. I don't know. I don't know. But if you're in a toxic work environment, I totally understand wanting to just do something, but in turn, feeling like you can't because the people you need to tell are the very people that are being naughty. Oh my goodness. That totally happened to me one time. Not for nothing. I'm not saying I was guilty. I don't work there. I don't know. But whatever the matter, just get to it. Now that you know about it, fix it. Okay. That's it, Miss Ellen. That is it. Once you know something, you need to do something. That's all. That being said, hopefully, we won't hear any more of those stories coming out of the uh, TV giant talk show camp that's was terribly disturbing mm. oh baby it's all up and through here mm-hmm oh what was i saying oh possible work environment so i was working for a company i'm not gonna say who even though they're out of business. I worked for them for a little while. And people will use your, I don't want to say naive because I was young. I guess maybe you could assume that I was naive. I don't know. But I think your youth can be used against you. Some time of gender can be used against you. Your religion can most certainly be used against you. And when you're dealing with somebody who's unsavory, right, up to no good, point blank period, they look for that stuff, you know? And like one of the first things he said to me was, oh, I like your necklace. I know the religious necklace and everything. And I'm like, thanks. I'm so young. I'm Christian, okay? <laughs> it's okay. You can know. It's all love, you know? And that's really what we believe, just in loving each other. What did he say? Me too. Did not see this wolf and she's going coming okay oh boy buddy then so anyway i found myself doing things that like would not the standard practice there staying late and i mean like late late like the janitor has gone home and low-key locked you in the building when you leave the door is going to lock behind you but he's not here anymore <laughs> okay it's just you and the lights very creepy stuff but the kind of work that i was doing at the time really affected people's lives you know 
it was intense. I'm gonna show you. I wanted to do the best job I could and help as many people as I could, and I would stay late. I would come in on those like floating holidays or whatever. And everybody pretty much in the office is like, this is not what holiday this <laughs> You know, this is not one of our paid days. It is now. <laughs> I'm like, mm -mm. my client's about to have this go down and that go down. I gotta get this stuff done. I can't take it. I can't take the day. You know, stuff like that, really committed. Coming in on my birthday, that was a paid holiday. Nope. And even when someone pointed it out, like, while I was standing right there, like, guess what? You know, who? she is literally here and it's her birthday. And both of me was like, oh, Look over you. No, thank you. No happy birthday, even. I was like, ow, that's a peculiar response to that. And not that that's what I was looking for by any means, but I think that's just the appropriate thing. The, the, like, across the board, I think we all agree that when somebody, you find out it's somebody's birthday, you go, happy birthday. That was weird. Okay. Then another occasion, someone pointed out how I've been working and you could see my notes. Okay. Now it's raggedy because I had to get that little thread of death that was in there. But it still got me good. Ooh, check out that trip. Did you see how it was a trip slow? Mm. Mm hmm mm. Oh, anyway, I was like, wow, okay, that was weird. Then, when somebody was like, oh my gosh, were you really here that late seeing my notes? I'm like, mm-hmm. This guy really did come into my office and go, um, did you stay and you, you put these all, these notes in? Or did you did you go home and do it? I was like, I don't have this program at home. <laughs> like, what? It was like, wow. All right. Again. <laughs> like, what's happening? Nobody else is doing this. And not that they should be, right? Because... We're salaried employees. We're not going to pay it all the time. I'm just doing this because I care about my clients. I got that trip, you guys. Ooh. Mm. Nothing like it. Nothing like it. And so, I thought that was weird, too. I was like, okay. Well, you know. Some people just feel the way they, you know, like they'll take whatever you give. Lesson learned, right? I'm like, okay. Some of my, you know, friends were concerned. My boyfriend was most definitely concerned. He was like, you are literally walking into a horror movie right now. We were building late at night by yourself. It's dark. No one else is there. It was crazy. And I was like, well, I didn't realize the time fa passed so fast. Long story short, the last straw for me, I was like, I gotta get out of here. This guy really did, after I packaged everything together for one of my clients, he said, Let's get a few more payments from them first. What? <laughs> I was like, oh, he can't be serious. Oh, no. That is not okay. Immediately, like, 
all of my energy changed. And my office was so energetic and so hype and so like feeding off of my energy. Everybody was given like more than what they had done before I got there because the workplace was fun. Our office was fun. The other office was very tense. All the energy in there was off. But our rooms were jumping, okay? It was like we had a really great rhythm together. But once I realized who I was working for, I was like, no more. So, excuse me. I told someone who I thought was like the perfect, let's get this, but let's get this bad boy right here. That's what I'm looking for. I told someone who I thought was a good person to tell, like in management, right? Baby, he was then on it. <laughs> Come to find out. He was one of them too, okay? I was like, oh, it's the group of them? Yeah. It was a lot. Check out that job. I don't know if you're getting the view I'm getting, but this looks so good. Mmm. Mmm. From here. Yep, he was in on it. I was like, oh my gosh. Um, it was all downhill from there. But as everyone started to leave, I was like, this ship is sinking. I hold my phone out. I mean, don't go down with somebody else's ship. Let the captain go down with it, you know? Because he's staring everybody into very murky, murky waters with these business practices of his. So, I thought I had him. You know what? I'm going to have some more soup, y'all. I was going to have another piece of an egg. But this soup was calling me. And I just have to answer while well, still warm. Mmm. Mm hmm. Oh my gosh. So, with that being said, it was maybe like another five years. And next thing you know, I heard not only did they close, but and they were sued, and it was all this craziness that went down. After I left, so listen, take you and your good energy to places that welcome it and be around people that will pour into you and not just take away, okay? So anyway, I'm stuffed, you guys. Now that I have this soup situation, I really have to stop putting so much on my plate because I have been unable to finish it, but it has been absolutely filling and delicious. I know I'm probably not matching my calories for the day. You know, these days I'm generally OMAD where I'm eating one meal a day. Um, but oh boy. Whatever the case may be, it has been absolutely enjoyable. I definitely enjoyed myself. I hope you enjoy it too. Thank you so much for stopping by the answer key. Make sure you like, subscribe, and comment beneath this video. Let me know if you have any crazy word stories. <laughs> Sorry, but some of that old bay. Woo, I really let loose with the old bay. I could feel it all. It's just getting into everywhere. Anywho, <laughs> thank you so much for tuning in to get another Sunday Seafood Boil Mukbang. I appreciate you for watching. And until next time, I hope you take very good 
good, 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 extra good care of yourself. Please, please, please be safe out there. And I'll see you next Sunday for our next video. All right? I'll see you soon. Make sure you hit the notification bell so you know exactly when it uploads. All right, guys. I'll talk to you then. Bye.